previously on Dance Moms. How long are you out for? Four to six weeks. It's a cool world. <laughs> I'm looking for a replacement for the duet. Why'd you ask Paige who was replacing her on the duet? I didn't. So what can we do to, to a quick fix? Probably not going to want to hear what, it, what I'm going to tell you to do. I want her to do it. She wants to do it, but I don't think she can. You have sabotaged my daughter and the rest of the kids. <laughs> Coming up on Dance Moms. I did not have an affair with my boss. Yes, you did. <laughs> did not, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> there, I said it. We need to really work hard this week because Jill and Kendall have hopped back to Abby's studio. I don't want to go there and not win. I'm giving you an opportunity, and you're f***ing all over me. Listen, it was you who called Vivi a human prop, so don't tell me to shut up. I think you need to take your little technicolor ass and get out of here. Get up. Get on the floor. My world is with my girls. Living on the dance floor. Overall, high score winners, once again, at Starbound. Last weekend at Starbound was a huge success for my girls. Give it up for Alouette from Abby Lee Dance Company. Your top junior group. We're on a winning streak, and I want to keep it that way. Those judges definitely know who the Abby Lee Dance Company is. I want to keep this winning streak going. Now, on to the pyramid. Kendall, you were brought in as a guest. Even though you helped the team win first place, you're still a guest at the Abby Lee Dance Company. Jill is notorious for jumping ship and taking Kendall with her. So until they can both prove to me that they want to be here for life, I'm not putting Kendall back on that pyramid. First, I have Brooke. You had a rough week. You were injured. Day one, I saw the pain in your face. I gave you an amazing number. And now you're not gonna do it? No one's ever gonna see it? She can't do it. You're on the bottom because you never spoke up and said anything. Next. Paige, you're injured. There's not much to judge you on. I wanted you to work on your terminology and do the warm up with us. You didn't show up for a whole day. My kids are on the bottom of the pyramid once again. But the funny thing is, Paige has a broken foot and didn't dance, and she's above Brooke. Next. Mackenzie, you had a solo. I thought you did a good job. I thought your solo was great. But crying, having a little meltdown, I don't want kids on the team that act like brats. Understood? Am I disappointed in second? Absolutely. But you can't do that, because it looks like you're ungrateful that you were second. You're eight now. You're not a baby anymore. Save your tears for the pillow. Understood? Next. Maddie, you probably wonder why am I there? You were the overall high score winner. It doesn't matter. You need higher goals. Remember I told you I wanted you 20 points above the person? Six and a half is not 20. All right, next, Chloe. You were outstanding in the group. You did an okay job with the duet, but I want you to be intense. That same intensity you bring to the solo, you need to bring to the group and to the duets and to the trios and to every number that you're in. Every week, Abby yells at Chloe that she needs more confidence. Maybe if you didn't bark and scream at her, she would have more confidence on stage. And at the top of the pyramid, Nia. Nia, you're at the top of the pyramid because I am so proud of you. You did your solo, you got a standing ovation. Being at the top of the pyramid for Nia is a long away to dream. And it's not an expectation, but it's a wonderful recognition for the work and achievement that she's been able to bring to the team. This week, you are the dance captain of the group. I, I wouldn't be so smiling. It's 10 times more work than everybody else has. Team captain to me means that you correct your friends, even though if you don't want to, you have to, but say it in a nice way and just doing everything to help your teammates. I can get used to this. This weekend, we're going to Starbound, and we will be going to Myrtle Beach, yeah! South Carolina. 
This week, we're headed to Starbound. And I'm thrilled because my kids have done great at Starbound. Kendall, this week, you're going to do a duet with Mackenzie. Chloe, you have a solo. Maddie, no solo this week. Moms are dismissed. Go ahead upstairs. Ladies, we have lots of work to do. Let's go. Boom. Stomach's tight. Strong arms. You're reaching for her, bro. Reach out there. Boom. This week's group number is called Taken. And it has to do with four little girls who are all dressed the same. And they're watching this other little girl. She's dressed in her own color. She's happy. And of course, they want to be like her. But they know that that is not a possibility. So what do they do? They get her to be like them. Don't be so far away. Look at Chloe. Right here. We go that way. I am worried because Abby's after a clean sweep. And Chloe is doing a solo. She's her only soloist. Uh, that makes me nervous. Abby really wants to stay on this winning streak. And by not giving Maddie a solo, she's putting an extra amount of pressure on Chloe to win. Why were you at Pyramid? I thought Abby said that she was going to just call you if she needed you. Did she call you? Well, trust me, I wouldn't have shown up if she didn't tell me to. I don't want my daughter or myself to step on anybody's toes. But Kendall deserves to be a part of this team. Abby invited us to Pyramid. Here we are. These moms need to deal with it. You are one lucky little girl. You get to be rehearsing with these people who have won week after week after week. Every one of those bad habits that you came to my studio with got worse when you went to Kathy's. Now I have to clean up the mess. Thank you. Even though I'm letting Kendall do the group number and I've selected her for a duet with Mackenzie, she is under no circumstances a member of the team. She is still a guest at the Abbey Lee Dance Company. All right, girls, let me talk to you a little bit about this number. This is a very deep number, and it's going to be difficult to get across to the judges in two minutes and 30 seconds. So Maddie is the one that I've chosen to do her own choreography. You come out, you're a free spirit, you have all the privileges, you're allowed to do anything. I've chosen Maddie to be the lead role in this piece because she is perfect for the part. She has the facial expressions that can tell the judges the story. You guys, you don't have any of those pleasures of life that she has. She's different. You're going to make her want to be like you. I'm pretty sure when she was discussing the group dance, that there's one little girl who's special, and they all want to make her conform. Like, who do you think that's going to be? Apparently, Abby is using this as an opportunity to explain to the world that our girls are a mediocre cult. And if they see someone who is better than them, they're going to drag her down to their level. I mean, she's obviously using this as a parallel to last week. And I think it's very offensive that she's going to say, it's a number. It's, you know, it's interpretive. It's art. It's She's always it's talking about how sucks. different he is that's, and her hair okay. and all of this. And here's a prime opportunity. She could capitalize on Nia being different, since that's a featured part of the dance. The storyline is, is that Maddie's above us, and we're trying to bring her back to be like us. Kelly and Christy are reading way too much into this group dance. It's like they are always looking for something to argue about all the time. You can't celebrate other people, but when we don't celebrate Maddie, it turns into everybody this big thing. Everybody celebrates everybody. Oh, OK. That's why you talk about my daughter. You talked about Chloe. Christy's taking Chloe out of school, and then she's taking her to the movies. No comment? No deflection? You talk about my daughter all no, the time. I, I talk about the way Abby favors her. Have any of these women up here heard me talk about Maddie, or have I talked about the favoritism? My daughter is a 10-year-old little girl. And when you have 40-year-old women who will stop at nothing to tear her down because of a dance, sorry, I'm going to step in, and I'm not going to take it. You are a troublemaker, and you're a bitch. I'm not the liar of the group. Sorry. She said, like, you lied about my daughter cheating. I didn't lie. You told her you cheated. I did not. You told her that. I did not. I'm not doing what? this anymore Who's about Who's the this? liar in this group? Who lies all the time? OK. You, yeah. Who yeah. is the what man with her boss? Who is living with a man who's still married? That's it. I did not have an affair with my boss. Yes, you did. No, I did not, bitch. There, I said it. There's a new word. We haven't used that one yet. Well, I, I feel I feel badly for her because she was very upset. And I think she does things, you guys, to to get along. She wants to be on the team and be a team player. And 
you know, I don't know. Oh, I, I don't know why she does what she does. does. Melissa is an incredibly smart woman. So she knows exactly what she's exactly. doing as she does it yes. while she's doing it. Like, you think you're one step ahead, she's four steps ahead of you. Do not underestimate Melissa. Okay, so where is Melissa? She's part of this team, she needs to be here. It's the next day and everybody's there but Melissa. Kendall's not officially in the group. So with Melissa out of the picture, this just opens up doors for Kendall. Hey girls, come on, come on, come on. Is that your lantern? Everything else had glass and it's too heavy. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm just afraid it's too big and high. If not, we can look for a smaller one. Okay, where, where's Melissa? Girls, where's Maddie? I don't know. All right, let, let me go find out, because she would not she would not show up without calling. OK, bring this in when it's time for your solo. All right? Yes. And let me see what's going on. I'm starting rehearsal. No Melissa, no kids. Wonder if she'll be punished. Doubt it. Hey, guys, come on in. Apples. So, everybody, I have some Top secret news, we are going to Starbound in Myrtle Beach. So we need to get busy with new choreography. The last time that I saw the Abby Lee Dance Company at a competition, they were not very nice to me. I'm in Ohio, I'm on your turf. Not even a cocktail party the night before, no dinner at your house. We have the M&Ms back to help with choreography. Mitchell and Michael are working with us, and it's because they would like to see us beat the Abby Lee Dance Company. The reason that I brought the M&Ms back is because the kids are really reciprocating to them. They love Mitchell and Michael. I think it's awesome. I think it puts us on the edge. We need to really work hard this week because Jill and Kendall have hopped back to Abby's studio. No surprise. Of course. Drazen, that's why you are going to be dancing with us today, because I wanted Justice to have a male friend. So I want Jill and Kendall going down. Five, six, seven, go. Cut, cut, cut. Strong arms. You're reaching for her, bro. Reach out there. Boom. So I resume my rehearsal. I don't know what's going on with Maddie and Melissa, but they need to be here in rehearsal. You signed a contract. You made a commitment to this team. I don't have time. I just don't. I have to keep working. OK, take it from the fan kick. I want to hear your mouth. One, two, three. I must say, this is a first for Melissa not to come. I'm surprised oh. that Abby is even going to hold class without Mackenzie and Maddie. It's going to well, happen. I'm sure she won't put anyone in their spot. Well, that's my point. Oh. So what <laughs> if my kid I wasn't here, you. someone would be replacing them. I think that Jill is just loving life right now. Melissa is mad at us, so she's not showing up for anything. And my two kids are injured, so she can just slither her way in either with the moms or the kids this week. I guess she's not coming because she doesn't want to face the music again. Or maybe she didn't come today because she can't handle the truth. I can't well, believe she's well, not here. It'll be brought up again. You have to bring it to the table. And when you slam on this table, whose face is on this table? Jill. Jill. Okay. The duo is called right. the promotion, and they are supposed to be looking like they're focused, intense with each other. They're both out for the competition. We're struggling with that, though. And one, two, go three, go four, go five, go six, seven, eight. OK, stop. But see how you have, like, a smirk on your face? No You're smirking. Mean. Justice finds it very difficult to do anything that presents him in being a nasty kid light. So he's got to dig. Let's put Taylor up here. Just play along with it, OK? you two go here. Let's switch and, and put Erica in the front. OK. The group number is called My Hair Like This. Go, girls! Yeah. I like the number because it's very on the edge. There's a lot of movement going on. It's hot. It's a hot dance. One, two, three, work! I need to talk to my dance captain. Come here. You're down a dancer, so I want you to go out, 
get your cell phone, call Maddie, and tell her to get her butt in here right now. As dance captain, I have to call Maddie and tell her to come to the dance studio, but I don't know how to get her here because I'm not her mother. Miss Abby really needs you here right now because I know that you are one of the featured parts in the dance. During the phone call, Maddie says that her mother won't let her come to the dance studio because Melissa is always mad at the moms. Let's take it from the top, straight through. Remember, you guys are all as one. You think alike, you stand alike, you act alike. Reach in, go. Three and four. And Ma no, you're on the outside, then you, then Maddie, then here we go. Maddie is the center of the group choreography. And without her here, it's really difficult to go on with this routine. I really didn't want to go to the studio, but I finally thought I need to drop my kids off at rehearsal. I really don't have to be there when they practice. Get in here, let's go. Maddie arrived. Look no, at the go timing, ahead. she's here. Good, so then we, our kids don't have to bear the brunt of this one's anger. Hey, I never want this to happen again. You're in a group dance, you're part of the team, you do not miss rehearsal. This whole thing with your mother, forget about it. You're gonna look up there. You're gonna let those women dictate your future? That's crazy. I cannot believe how much time we have lost because of Melissa. Run, run, up, go! We've got to dig down deep inside and use everything we've got if we're gonna win this weekend at Starbound. Girls, we have two more days. Two more days to get this number clean. You understand? Yes. All right, go. Thank you. Thank you for calling and tipping me off, though. I appreciate my friends in this business. Thanks. Bye bye. So, lo and behold, I find out that Kathy and her rotten apples are going to be joining us this weekend. Kathy has entered a routine in each one of our categories. She's obviously out for revenge. Justice is in a duet with another little boy. They don't have another boy. This just gets better and better. Kathy's bringing in a ringer to dance with Justice and go up against my duet. Maddie can beat Justice. She's beat him before. She, she has to do a solo. She has to do a solo. I know I told Maddie she didn't get a solo this week, but now I want her to go up against Justice just to intimidate him. Hi, babe, how are you? I'm good. Hi, Al. Hi, Ken. You girls go ahead and get ready. I want to talk to you for a second. Melissa waltzes into the studio like nothing happened yesterday. At the very least, I think that woman owes me an explanation. I need to know where were you yesterday and why the girls weren't here. I was not here. I don't have to be here. I know Abby's upset, but I don't need to be here when my kids are dancing, and I'm just sick of being bullied by the moms. My kids take care of themselves, and they're here on time. So I'm not playing games. OK, well, I'm not playing games either. Maddie's doing a solo this weekend. Yes, she is. You signed a contract with me. Abby just needs to know giving my daughter a solo the night before a competition is just too much pressure. I was wondering what that was. Hey. 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 Welcome back. Long you got to fix yourself. Can I go extra? No, because Abby's going to tell you you're doing a solo, and you're not. You know, it's funny. When Chloe misses rehearsal, she's screamed at. But when Maddie misses, she's rewarded with a solo. Double standard? <laughs> Girls, come on. Let's go. I need you to studio A. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Are we ready? This week, my solo is called Leave the Light On. Miss Abby said that the story is like, when it's dark, I don't like it. So I try to like use a lantern to find a space where it's all light. I know Candy Apple is going to be in Myrtle Beach this weekend. I need Chloe's head in the game. My goal is a clean sweep. And off. Good. When you step out on that stage, I want you to win. No boy is going to beat me. I have a solo against Justice this week, and he's a really good dancer, so I am kind of feeling pressured because now I have to do really good. So we missed you yesterday. What's going on? You're coming away this weekend? Yeah. OK. 
What did Abby say to you when you came in? She said, my daughter, your daughter's doing a solo this weekend. I said, no, she's not, and I walked away. She did? Huh? Well, so why don't you want Maddie to do a solo? It's not her week to do a solo at Pyramid. She wasn't assigned it, so it's not her week. If I let Maddie do the solo, the other moms are going to think that, of course, Maddie's the favorite, and I'm totally sick of it. And I'm sticking up for myself, and I'm sticking up for my kid, and I'm... Yeah, but how... You, don't, you just don't want her to. No, she's not. It's Which my decision. Fine. I'm, the I'm mom. just curious. She's how... not the mom. I don't think it was really fair of Abby to ask Maddie to do a solo. If Abby had said, Kendall, I need you to do a solo, she would have done it. So what's Abby's reasoning behind it? Didn't yeah. You should ask her. No, because she heard her. that Candy Apple was coming, so she needs her rear. That's Chloe, fine. it will That's do fine, just I mean. great. Chloe will do just great. But for her to ask Abby her, doesn't think play that. her game, Melissa. She just goes to show how much value Abby puts on all of her students. She should really just take Chloe solo and just give it to Maddie. Well, because I, why have them? Comp if you don't feel Chloe's good enough, don't have her be your your go-to loser. Just give it to Maddie. Abby's expecting a clean sweep this week at Starbound. And now that she's heard that Candy Apples is going to be there, of course she doesn't have enough faith in Chloe, and now she wants Maddie to dance. Go! Put your feet! Devil pay down. I'm really excited because we're going to Myrtle Beach, and I'm doing a duet with Kendall, and it's called Reservations for Two, and it's the acro routine. No way are you going to lose to some other boy. Man kick, finish the turn. You're gonna ruin that if you keep doing that like that. Don't die. The stakes are high for Kendall and Mackenzie. They're going up against Justice and Kathy's new little ringer. Hopefully, these two can pull it off. I'm looking for a clean sweep this weekend at Starbound, but this duet has me worried. It's the real truth. Tell me the real truth. You don't want to do a solo? You just want a week off? Or what's the... I don't want to go there and not win. You have beaten boys before. I don't care what's going on with Melissa and the other moms. Maddie should be doing this solo for me. Just Maddie's name being typed in that program up against Justice will intimidate him. So, you know what? I feel like I'm giving you an opportunity and you're all over me. It's really tough because Miss Abby wants me to do a solo, and my mom doesn't want me to do a solo, and I gotta listen to my mom. Good night. Good night, Melissa. I want to talk to you for a second. Okay. Um, I just want to talk to you about the solo thing. If Melissa doesn't let Maddie do a solo, she might just cost us the win. And if that's the case, I'll never forgive her. That Kathy, the hit from the stick, she's coming. All right. Any one of my kids could do a solo. That's not what it's about. It's about. I want to intimidate him. It is, it's too late in the game. I'm not, I'm sorry, Abby. I don't want to disappoint you, but it is what it is. I don't care what Abby says. I know candy apples are coming, but I'm not letting my daughter learn a solo the night before the competition. Well, I think she could have learned it today. Well, I gotta go. I gotta get my kids to bed so we can get on the plane. Starbound competition in Myrtle Beach. Come on, girls. This is going to be a tough competition for us. And I found out that Kathy and the crab apples are going to be here. There's a lot at stake. Come on, game faces. We ready, ladies? Let's do it. Now, without alarming everybody in the room, tell me who this is. I look at the program book and I see Justice and Drazen. I don't know who this person is. All I do know is that he's some ringer. This is not one of Kathy's students. Never seen that name I before. Never seen that name, Drazen. So you don't know who that is? Uh, I swear I don't. I, I don't know. You've never heard. You swear on your life. I swear. Abby, I'm on your side. I would tell you. Abby needs to trust me. 
my alliance is with her. That's what my daughter is here for, for Abby, and we're here to win. Guys, can you come here for just a moment? I just want to kind of give you a heads up on what's going on, okay? If anybody's tweeting you, it's none of their business. It's our little surprise attack, okay? And Drayson, honestly, I kind of like to keep you behind closed doors just because they don't know who the heck you are. Drayson is somebody that does not compete at the dance studio. You know, we just kind of pulled him in as a guest artist because we wanted two boys and see what they do when they hit the stage. I am really nervous for Chloe right now. Abby is counting on her to beat justice, and I know Chloe can do it, but Chloe has to know she can do it, and she needs to go on that stage and dance with confidence. Let's go. Come on, Chloe, this is it. Walking to the stage, I'm a little bit nervous. I've never really competed against Justice before, and Abby's counting on me. Number 9 times. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not choreography. That is called stretching. Nice Chloe walked into the dressing room and I couldn't wait to hug her. She has been under so much pressure this week and I think she nailed her solo. It was so good. Good job. Very nice. Chloe did great up there. I think she might actually have a shot at beating the bad apple. But if Melissa would have agreed to let Maddie do a solo too, it would have been two chances to beat him instead of just one. Maddie, do you understand now why I wanted you to do a solo? It doesn't have anything to do with Chloe. It has to do with he was backstage. You could have psyched him out. It was my fault and I told Maddie I'm sorry and she was mad and at me. Listen, but... you have to realize it's unprofessional. If Maddie would have done a solo, the moms would have freaked out on me, and that would have upset Maddie. And I'm so tired of Maddie being upset when the moms get mad at me. Girls, this is it, and then we're going. Now remember, it's about the story. It's about conformity. Let's go. 
Right now, I'm a little worried about this routine. Tight, tight. In order for it to work, Brooke has to put a bonnet on Maddie's head and transform her into one of them. Hopefully, they can pull this off. Oh, All right, we gotta go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Judges salute number 250, taken. Your professional dancers, or are you raising kids that need their dance teacher to scream out from the audience? All right, judges, in small group open, 11 and 12. This is number 290. My hair like this. place by a tenth of a point, my heart sank because I wanted nothing more than to walk in that room and shove it into Abby's face and say, you had no faith in her and she could do it. And our top junior soloist for our Myrtle Beach, South Carolina regional, give it up with a 297 for shipwreck, Justin takes it. Sometimes 
the judges want to keep boys interested in dance. So what other way but to let them win? All right, time for groups. And here come the top junior group scores today. Third place, 291.5 out of 300. Please put your hands together. For number 290, my hair like this. junior group today had a score of 295 out of 300 points. Number 250, Caitlin! <laughs> and your studio. Was a clean sweep, and now I know I'm not gonna get it. Oh. Good job, beat them again, Chloe. What are we gonna do about you, huh? Tenth of a point. You know what? Chloe's score was amazing. She danced fabulous. He is a boy. You're the first to say they get bonus points for being a boy. Why don't you come in here and tell her you did a great job? She did do a great job. It wasn't good enough. Maddie, do you get it? Do I understand why I wanted you to do your cellar so that you would intimidate him? And you know what, Melissa? This is my business. You have a man at home that pays all your bills. I don't. I have to pay my bills. I have your duet costumes. I'm telling you right now, the two boys are going to beat you. I don't know what it is about Kathy that gets under Abby's skin, but Abby's taking this competition to a whole new level, and she just needs to calm down. <laughs> One for one with those apple cores. It's all coming down to this duet. Mackenzie and Kendall against two boys. Now, come on. You know the two boys are going to win. Open ages 9 and 10, number 292, the promotion. impressed with Justice and whoever this new little boy is that Kathy solicited from somewhere. Open ages 9 and 10, number 254, reservation for two. Two out of three. 
I didn't get my clean sweep, but we can blame Chloe for that. Hello, hello, hello! After the awards, I wanted to rub it in Kathy's face. We beat her fair and square. Kathy, you gotta man these boys up. Come on. Oh, please. Oh, I'm pretty manly. Tell us what's masculine. Yeah. Really? I don't have any boys in the number today. No, but Abby, even your girls don't. Don't do what? They don't girls, do that difficult. Your girls don't, don't do, do what's fresh and new. Fresh and new? Straight legs and stretched feet will never go out of style. Oh, you're right. They won't. You're absolutely right. So then you better get on some of them who have sickled feet. Let's and you better come get on, on some Kathy. Of them. Let's put Vivian right up against Mackenzie. Let's put the two eight-year-olds up against each other. Because oh, my little eight-year-old has improved week after week after week. Because they don't go to school. My little Vivian. Excuse me, my, my little Vivian reads third like, grade books. Shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. My you know daughter what? is I smart and she goes to school every day. Hey, listen. Uh, it was you who called Vivi a human prop. So don't yeah. tell me to shut up. Yeah, well, I think I you need to take your little technicolored ass and get out of here. Kathy has two guest choreographers, a ringer, and older girls dancing in her group. But it's still not enough to beat the Abbey Lee Dance Company.